Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got a neon water marble and this was requested by Eunice Wamas. I've started off with Niltik's Formula 2. And this is of course my preferred base coat unless I'm using a peel off. Of course you can use whatever works for you. We all have different body chemistry. Being sure to cap my free edge. And I did want to show that you can use this on short nails. Today I'm going to use a white as a base, and this is Flawless by Bitsy. I got it at Sally's. It's a really good white cream polish. And you guys that have been around a while know I do not like painting with white creams. They're just, I make a mess with them. But this one's a pretty good one. I think Sister Chic turned me on to this one. And I'm going to top it with Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. I um, just did one coat. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You'll see that I have like some thin spots on my thumb and a couple other nails. But that's okay. And like the tip on my pointer, it's good. I'll be applying my liquid latex here on my one finger that's left open. And I am still going to do that video where I show you how I mix this up. Got my little glitters going on. Um, I just, you know, things have jumped in front of that video. I got it started, but I haven't finished it yet. <laughs> but I do like using this. This seems to be working pretty well for me. I will admit that they do stick together. Um, you know, you could dust them with powder or oils or whatever, but I don't like doing that when I'm using a water marble. So I just try to keep my fingers separated. I'll be using all mixed up lacquers today. This one is Grape Squisher. And the next one is Orangelicious Baby. And the green is Camera Freakout. And I've got my room, my little cup of room temperature water. And as you can see, it's not spreading, so I run my toothpick around the cup on the outside to make it spread all the way to the side. And I'm just going to let y'all see me build this bullseye while I kind of talk about water marbling a little bit. Okay, the trick is, is to use water that is the same temperature as your nail polishes. So I keep water in my Manny Cave in a little plastic water bottle until I'm ready to use it. I don't use special filtered water or bought water or anything like that. Just straight out of the tap. But I think it's key that they're the same as your nail polish the same temperature and another tip you got to make sure that there's no fans or heater or air conditioner vents blowing um, that can also cause your paint to dry up too fast to where you don't have a good chance of drawing a design in the water also neons are really hard to find good neons that will water marble because neons tend to be matte and they also tend to dry very quickly. And when you're water marbling, you want polishes that dry a little slower. So these ones from All Mixed Up Lacquer, they do really well. If you were fortunate enough to get the um, polishes from, oh my goodness, my mind's gone blank. But it's a Night in Vegas collection, Pipe Dream Polish, there we go. Those are like a dream. Um, there's another set to, oh, Sweet and Sour Lacquer, her neons, water marble, really nice. And then there's a China Glaze set of neons that work really well. If I can remember, I'll try to put it down here on the bottom of the screen or at least down in the description box for you. Um, they weren't perfect, but they, they did water marble, so I will try to remember to put that down there. But it was the one that had the gl glow with the flow and um, violet vibes and that, that collection. That's the one that I've, I've actually gotten it to water marble before. So just don't give up. Like I said, you've you just got to play with polishes to see what will work and what won't work. It just takes some practice. And I know I've told this story before, but... Water marbling is what got me into nail art, period. 
I saw Colette from My Simple Little Pleasures water marble one time, and that was it. That's all it took. If you get a bubble like that, you just kind of re-dip and dip down and, you know, try to pull it out, pop it, dip it down in. Um, best suggestion I can give you. Sometimes you have to do surgery on them, um, especially if you use a white base like I did. You might have to go in with a little bit of nail polish on a teeny tiny brush and kind of paint a spot that might have gotten missed. But it's all doable. You can also tap the side of the cup or turn the cup to get the polishes to spread out a little more if they're not spreading really great. Um, trying to think of all the little tips because I get asked questions a lot when I do water marble videos about technique and, and all of that. But most of it's trial and error. But I don't want you to give up because once you get it, you're going to love it so much and you're going to be so proud of yourself. I know you can do it. Just keep playing with it. So I am running that toothpick around the cup every time because that just seems to work for me. I like it to go all the way to the edge and kind of stick and that's why I like using the paper cups. I've used candle holders and little glass shot glasses, but I keep going back to these little paper bathroom cups, the little, I guess they're four ounces or something. I always go back to them and I think it's because when I run my toothpick around the edge, the polish kind of catches on that edge and then I can draw my design without that all of the polish dancing around the cup or moving while I'm trying to draw in it. I wish I had recorded my very first water marble for you. I really really do wish that the first one that I actually wore because um, it was a hot mess and I still I was so proud though that I got it to work I didn't care. I'm going to go in with a cleanup brush, and this is my old funky brush that I break out all the time. Um, it's all warped and twisted, and I do my big cleanup, like scrubbing on fingers with it. And now I'm going to go in with my cleanup brush, my real one, and do some fine tuning here. There's not a whole lot to clean up. I did um, get very lucky and have very little mess. But look at that. See, ladies, you can do water marble on short nails. <clears throat> Gotta make sure to get up under there though because that's the, that's the sneaky hidey spot. Okay, I'm going to top this one with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. And I did smudge a couple of these pulling off the latex which is, you know, probably something only would bother me or I would notice. But I'm going to stamp on it. I'm going to use this Lena Make Your Marco 1 and the Nicole Diary NSO2, the black and the Maniology Stamper and my Beauty Big Bang Scraper. And we're just going to plop images on <laughs> just the nails that I boogered up. And then I'm going to do one more just to kind of keep things even. So I boogered up the middle nail. Yes, I did. And I also messed up the pointer finger. So we're going to put a stamp on that one also. So, ladies, here's some more tricks and tips. You know, if you mess something up, man, just cover, cover it up with some stamping. <laughs> and I tried to use an image that wasn't going to steal the thunder of the water marble. I wanted something that was a little thinner lined. And now to keep this manicure kind of even, Stephen, I'm going to do a stamp on my pinky so that my thumb and my ring finger are left with just the water marble pattern. And I think that turned out pretty good. I'm going to go back in with my cleanup brush again and do some more cleaning up. I do a lot of cleaning up, I know. But it really does make a difference with how happy I am with my manicure. If I can clean up with the cleanup brush and get it all tidy and straight, then I enjoy it much more. So. Clean up brushes and quick dry top coat. Those are the keys for me. Makes this girl happy, happy. So there we go. We're going to top it with the Bundle Monster Smudge Free Top Coat first to kind of seal this in without smearing it all over the place. There we go. And I have ordered some more of the Smudge Free Top Coat from another company. I believe it was Born Pretty. I don't know. So once that comes in, we'll test it too. 
And now I'm going to top it with some Fast and Hard. I'm going to seal this in, this stamping, this water marbling, all of it. Seal it in. And I did really, really like how this one turned out. I ended up, well, I'm still wearing it. So at least four days. There we go. So here's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.